Alright, what's good everyone? Today we're going to be ranking the mainline Sonic games from best to worst. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so first off, we got Sonic Unleashed. Come on, man. That's an easy S. That's an easy S. My joint favorite Sonic game of all time. I don't need to say much more. Soundtrack fire. Graphics fire. Gameplay incredible. Everything's good. Even the Warhawk's sick, bro. Everything is fire about that game. Alright, we got some murky territory. We got Sonic 4 Episode 2. This one was actually okay. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a high C. High C. Shout out the drink. It's it's okay. It's not. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't annoy me. It's not. It's not that bad. Uh, the the partner mechanic was pretty cool as well. Again, it's just it's just Sonic 2, but worse pretty much. So I can't really give it much higher than a C to be honest. Alright, Sonic Rivals. We're gonna give it a C as well. I I played a bit of it. There's nothing great or bad about the game. It kind of just kind of just exists to be honest. If the game didn't exist, nothing in my life would be different. So, can you give it much higher than a C, to be honest, or lower than a C? Sonic 4 Episode 1 is a D rank. This game is terrible. No physics. It's just every everything about the game is just wrong, man. It's just a bad Sonic 1, and Sonic 1 is already isn't even that great. I don't know what they did, man. I don't know what happened to dimps with these two games, bro. You want Sonic Rush? Sonic Rush is an A tier game, bro. Boost introduction. Can't really say much more than that. Boost my favorite gameplay style. The trick system. Fire. Blaze. One of the best characters in the series. The level design, crazy. And of course, the soundtrack, bro. Soundtrack is easy S tier, bro. The soundtrack is fire, man. Every level has fire tracks, to be honest. Especially Water Palace, man. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. A tier as well. Worse than Rush, but still fire. Probably my my second favorite classic Sonic game. We'll get to my favorite in a bit, but it's just a massive improvement over the first game. Speed is there. They added the spin dash. It's more automated, but still. I'm not I'm not one of those automated at all automation or i'm not like one of those people but the game itself fantastic spin dash more speed fork more speed oriented than sonic cd which is another sequel to sonic 1 sonic 3d blast i have not played it but the soundtrack is good that's all i know generations 3ds this might be my fir the first b tier the modern sonic level is pretty good pretty good especially towards the second half of the game not radical highway that level sucks everything else i'd say post mushroom hill is actually pretty good classic Sonic's okay much better physics than the three the actual hd version this is probably the only time they got classic sonic right post three knuckles until mania and superstars obviously but mania came out quite a while ago sonic rivals 2 again it's just sonic rivals but slightly better like again if the game didn't exist nothing would have changed in my life so we'll give it just a mid c i'm gonna get flamed for this bro sonic adventure is not good man the game is so boring man if you take out sonic story the game sucks so the sonic story is the only reason it's this high on the list bro tales story average at best knuckles i don't like the treasure hunting levels in that game and then bro the, the less i say about the other three characters the better fortunately for the game those the other five characters don't take up that much time but when you have six playable characters and five of them are not fun to play you're not getting much higher than a c soundtrack is sick soundtrack soundtrack's really good sonic 2 8 bit nope never played it sonic 1 all right sonic 1 you give it a low b standard first game hasn't aged gracefully still fun though you take out labyrinth zone the game's actually pretty good scrappy zone annoys you but it's actually pretty well designed Everything else is okay. No spin dash though, so can't really give it much higher than a B to be honest. Sonic 3 and Knuck. This is interesting because if they had split this into both games, it would have been easier for me to rank because Sonic 3 is probably better than Sonic 2, but Sonic and Knuckles is probably worse than Sonic 2. But I think the Knuckles portion takes up more time than Sonic 3, so I'm gonna give it just below Sonic 2. Sonic 3 though, Sonic th the Sonic 3 portion is incredible. Angel Island, Hydro City, Hydro City, not Hydro City, Carnival Night, Ice Cap is fire. Ice Cap probably the best ice level in the series. Actually second best cool edge probably the best from unleashed but it's the, the end knuckles portion bro it's so it's not it, it falls off a cliff like mushroom hill is okay lava reef is okay just for the music but everything else from sonic and knuckles is not it man sonic blast i haven't played it from what i've seen it's straight garbage though sonic 1 8 bit haven't played that either rush adventure i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it just above I'm gonna give it just above sonic 1 it's sonic rush like the actual level is probably just as good as rush to be honest same trick system same everything it's just they added a bunch of stuff that didn't need to be added the sailing this is not it getting the right amount of materials the material hunting that's what it is it's pretty annoying just replaying levels over and over again just to collect materials for your boat it's just, it's just the worst rush to be honest sonic advanced 3 i have not played it all right we got this two storybook games right black knight i'm gonna give it a b i'm gonna put it just actually I'm gonna put it above Generations 3DS. I really like Black Knight. Soundtrack low-key carries, but it's fine. The game is fire. Controls, I actually didn't mind the controls for Black Knight. The motion controls, at least for this game, worked pretty well. The swordplay made sense. You actually had the nunchuck as well, so you could move forward when you wanted to. And overall, just it was just a pretty good game. Again, soundtrack carries though. Shout out Jun Sonoy. Secret Rings, I'm gonna have to give it a high C. Straight up, everything that Black Knight did right, Secret Rings also did right, except the controls were so trash. Like if this, oh, I forgot to mention, Black Knight's story, peak probably joint best sonic story with sonic unleashed secret rings everything black knight does right 
it does right except for the controls why this guy moves forward on his own i i'll never understand that i will never understand that from what i heard though the game on emulator is actually pretty good but i'm not playing it on it i'm talking about like actual hardware the wii version is pretty good all right sonic heroes now i'm gonna give it a low a i do i do really like heroes i'm not gonna hold you see heroes is really fun i like the team based mechanic and i like the fact that they have 12 playable characters and they actually use them properly it's not like 06 where they have like i don't even know how many characters there were in 06 but none of them played it like so it was just changing everything too much and to be fair none of the characters in 06 apart from sonic and maybe blaze controlled any decently but heroes did it well 12 playable characters all fun to use team mechanics pretty fun only problem is that you have to play the game four times to finish it which is kind of annoying or not kind of it's very annoying if you're gonna make me play the four the game four times at least at least the game is fun so give it a low a sa2 it's gonna be a low s tier i love sa2 speed stages are incredible the treasure hunting stages are a bit better than adventure i feel like they're they're better designed because adventure everyone every character shade the same levels so knuckles advent knuckles treasure hunting was not really catered to his gameplay style whereas sa2 knuckles and rouge they actually had like proper levels designed for them so actually like traversing the levels was a lot better apart from mad space mad space was terrible as i was saying the treasure hunting levels are okay the mech shooting the mech shooting was fun I like I liked Eggman and Tails. To be fair, Tails in SA1 is probably better than Tails in SA2. But I do prefer the mech, hunt, the mech shooting in SA2 over Gamma stages, so it evens out. Soundtrack, incredible as always. I actually don't really like Eggman's music. I, I don't know if that's surprising or not. But other than Eggman's tracks, everything in this, in this soundtrack is fire. Alright, Sonic Unleashed Wii. I've actually played quite a bit of this. I'm gonna give it a high B. It's just it's just the HD version, but worse. I think they had the right or the a decent idea trying to split up levels, especially for the Werehog. But at some point, when you see the Werehog load into a level like the same area four different times, it gets very repetitive. At least in the HD one, you do 20 minute level and that's it. You're not playing the Werehog for that zone anymore. If you if you prefer splitting up the Werehog into different levels, I feel like you'd enjoy that more. The combos are a lot worse, and I feel like the day stages are not as good as the hd ones at all not at all the the, the day stages are actually pretty fun but they're not as good as the hd ones this game handled metal collecting a lot better though they just gave it to you based on how well you did in the level unless you had to find them and for the day stages it made no sense they give you a boost button to go at a million miles an hour for you to try and find metals in a vase hidden off the side in a hidden pathway. The Wii version handles that a lot better. I feel like if Unleash handled meta collecting like the, the Wii version, this would easily be my favorite game in the whole series. Knuckles Chaotix, I haven't played it. Dorn of Summer is Fire though. Advance, haven't played it. Colors DS. This is the, my first ever Sonic game. I'm gonna give it... Put it just below Heroes. Colors DS got me into the series. Have a soft spot for it, but I feel like it's just, it's just Rush, but without the trick system, to be honest, and Wisps. And I know how much Sonic community, Sonic community loves Wisps, but... I feel like Dim's handled the Wisp pretty well. It's also also had a better structure than the HD version, or not HD, the Wii version. The Wii's not HD. It handled the levels a lot better. Two acts, two missions, and a boss. Better than the six acts that every zone in Colors had. That's pretty much it. Colors DS, alright. Not alright, it's good. Sonic 06. Okay. This is tricky, because I actually do kind of enjoy 06, but I haven't played it in a while. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a low B. Everything about the game is good, except for how many characters there are. And how unpolished it is like you take away sonic and blaze none of the characters control well or are fun to use shadow controls well it's just not fun to use silver too slow the the ambition i know people are like oh ambition that doesn't make a game good but you can appreciate ambition the game tried to do something it just failed at just working which is pretty big which is why it's not high on the list but they tried something soundtrack incredible top top four or five sonic soundtracks of all time kind of carrying the the game to a B, but I'd say it's okay. It's not it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I also wasn't there like properly for the game's release. I was one and a half years old when the game came out, so I didn't have to go through the, the depression cycle. Sonic Lost what is that th that's the three D S version. Okay. I'm I'm not gonna talk about that too much. Just put put gonna put an F. Alright. Sonic Mania. The third S tier game. Better than SA two, worse than Unleashed. Sonic Mania, right? This is classic Sonic done to perfection. If it was, if it had all original stages, it would have been, it would still kept the same spot, but it would have been higher in the same spot, if you know what I mean. Like, I would have given it, like, a 9.7 instead of 9.5 if they were all original levels, but what can you do? The game's incredible, level design's perfect, Sonic controls amazingly, all of them co control amazingly, Mania Plus adds Mighty and Ray as well, they both control incredibly as well, it's just a pretty much perfect game. Sonic Lost World, the HD version. I'll put this high B. I pretty I enjoy Sonic Lost World quite a bit. I'm gonna have to take context into this. Sonic Lost World ruined the momentum Sonic had at the time, bro. You think about it. 
Unleash came out 2008. Colors came out 2010. Generation came out 2011. Sonic was on the rise. The boost gameplay was going crazy. People loved it. And then bam, Lost World came out. Just halted everything. People were like, what is this, bro? Kind of weird. And then, the less you say about the rest of the 2010s, the better. But Lost World, I do, I do enjoy it. I like the ideas in it. It's just a Mario game, but with Sonic in it. it. Has parkour. The parkour is actually pretty good in the HD version. I mean, both versions have good parkour. It's just Lost World's 3DS version has interesting levels. Let's say that. We'll say that. Sonic Chaos, I haven't played it. Sonic Forces. Again, this may be very unpopular. I'm gonna give it a high C. Alright. I apologize for my heavy breathing. But Forces is not as bad as people make it out to be. It's just a bad boost game. But it doesn't do anything terribly wrong or right. Like the levels are straight as you can get. Like just too too linear. But the levels don't annoy you like Lost World 3DS or too many gameplay styles like Adventure that just aren't fun. It's just it's just a mid game. I hate the word mid, but that's pretty much what it is. It's just mid. I think some comedy Johnny said it best. It doesn't deserve high praise or bitter hatred. It just exists. I think people hate it so much because it took four years after Lost World to get another mid game, but worse. It's probably why people hated it so much. But personally, I wasn't there for the life cycle, so personally, I don't think it was that bad. It's okay. It's not great. It's not bad either. Generations, the actual HD version. This is a S tier game. Perfect level design. Classic Sonic is fun to use even without good physics. Music is sick. Everything is fire. Shout out the Hedgehog. I'm gonna put it low D. Apart from the neutral pathway, straight garbage. Soundtrack can't even save it this time because the soundtrack is not that great. The gunplay is actually good, surprisingly. I don't know how they managed to get the guns right in the Sonic game, but not the Sonic part. Sonic CD, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna put it just above Sonic 1. It's just Sonic 1 with better music, to be honest. Not much else I can say, really. Sonic CD is just Sonic 1, but marginally better, with a much better soundtrack. At least the Japanese version. Alright, Tails Adventure. I have not played it. Sonic R. I have not played it, but I do think the music is very good. Sonic Labyrinth, again, haven't played it. Still, Tails Sky Patrol, haven't played it. Sonic Pocket Adventure, have not played it. Alright, actual colors, like the Wii version. I'll put this just above Sonic Rush. I know that's a hot take nowadays, because it seems like no one likes this game, but I love this game. I think it did the boost gameplay pretty well. I like the wisps. Not pretty hot take in this current climate of Sonic fans, but I do enjoy the wisps, at least in this game. Later on, they... Eh. But in this game, they were done well. The actual themes, incredible. Tropical Resort looks sick. Sweet Mount. Like, the creativity behind this game carries it above all of these other games in AT. The love zone is probably not as good as Sonic Rush, but the creativity, the music, everything in this game... I think it puts it above all of these games. Again, Colors DS has that, but it's just, I don't think I enjoy it as much as the Wii version. All right, last two, Sonic Origins. I, I don't know if you can really class this as a game, to be honest, it's just a collection. The collection was pretty mid, to be honest. It wasn't great. The mission mode was pretty fire, but the amount of bugs that ha that came out with it, I, I don't know how you have bugs in a classic collection. It's just Sonic 1, 2, 3, and CD, and Knuckles just done worse that's why it's below all of them sonic frontiers i'm gonna put this above sa2 maybe recency bias i have no idea but uh i love the open worlds and frontiers i think they're designed pretty well clash a bit with the environment like the actual level design i say level design but like the actual like world design it clashes with the environment aesthetically but you can look past that popping is terrible i can't defend that i kind of have a guilty pleasure with cyberspace they're they're not bad well, the, the control is not great, but I don't mind it. Again, reusing levels is not, not particularly great, but I didn't mind it too much. And especially the SA2 levels. The SA2 levels they brought over to Frontiers were actually very, they were very good. Like Skyrim especially. Again, music kind of carries Cyberspace, to be honest. Other than that, I think Cyberspace is actually okay. And then Final Horizon as well. Added Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. First time playable since 06, like properly in a mainline game, apart from Mania. They all play pretty well. Knuckles had to take a, a patch. Like, it took a patch for Knuckles to play well, but it got there in the end. Cyberspace levels in Final Horizon are actually very good, mostly. I think 4D is just too chaotic. Again, it's just the, it's just the, aesthetically, the game is just weird. It's not that the world design itself is weird. It's just a bunch of things just floating in the sky for no reason. But it kind of works, like, gameplay-wise. So that's why, that's why I have it in the S tier. And then there's no superstars in here, but if I had to put superstars, probably put it high B, low A, somewhere like that. I think the game, the game is good. Until it's not. First half of the game, very like almost S tier. First half of the game is almost S tier. And then it falls off a cliff. Not falls off a cliff in terms of level design, but the bosses are the worst things I've ever played in a video game. I swear those bosses are so trash, man. If you watch my stream however many days ago, 
I literally skipped the boss fights. I'd play the level. I'd get to the boss fight and I'd quit the level, bro. That's how bad the bosses are. Like, it, they genuinely piss me off. And Trip's story, bro. I can't even beat Trip's story. It's so infuriating. Like, I, I, I hate Trip's story so much, man. It's just, the, it's just the game designed horribly. It's just, the game is good until it's not. That's the best way I can describe Superstars. So if I had to rank it, it would be somewhere high B or low A. Anyway, that's my tier list. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day and enjoy yourselves.